Okay, we're back. Today is October 8th, 2014, and it's midnight. I'm really excited for the blue blue moon. <laughs> it's not the blue moon. The blood moon. Okay, so you guys have been watch if you guys watch my YouTube, you know that I have <laughs> A bad habit to some, a just fine habit to me, with my addiction of school glue. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, made by Rihanna. I want to say hi to you and hope that laugh was a dirty enough for you. So here's my drop paper. It is just basically, what is this? A grocery bag someone sent me in Happy Mail you might recognize your writing it's from Whole Food it's market and you wrote art and a little happy face well I'm using it I am I try to use everything you guys send me so um, you know, this came from that Nivea hair removal which doesn't work on my winter uh, hairy legs <laughs> I swear my legs are very very hairy in the winter uh, <laughs> it looked like wolves <laughs> oh goodness anyways the Nivea does not work on my legs. Maybe my hair was, or my hair on my legs was too long. It just irritated my legs. It smelled like terrible chemicals, so I was kind of hesitant to, to keep it on for whatever amount is said to keep it on for. Um, the bottle's still full. It's a waste of money for me picked it up at my grocery store while buying groceries. And it had a great coupon and a great deal on it, but it ended up not being a great deal for me. Anyways, but I got this cool Nivea applica applicator that came with it and shoot, I already paid for the bottle and the product it didn't work for me. So, I might as well figure out, and I have, you can see what I'm using it for. I had to make what I spent worth something, and I think I did it. It works great. It's better than the, um, a business card or credit card, gift card. It works wonderful, and it keeps your hands from getting messy, which I don't even mind my hands getting messy, painted. Actually, to see paint on my fingers and my hands makes me happy. It makes me very, very, very happy to have paint on my hands. Even ink. Ink is even better because that lasts days. <laughs> it just shows my, my true colors. I go out in public and I have ink all over my fingers and beautiful colors. It makes me proud. I'm like, yeah. Better than makeup. It's my passion, art. And I feel like it's like kind of like a tattoo or lipstick on my fingers. Beautiful, vibrant colors. Okay. So, this is not what I intended to do a video on, but it was here, and it was kind of gloomy looking, and I need some color on my desk, and I need to get these drop papers uh, filled up with some happiness. So, in the last video, which was my video Monday, what is today? I just said it. Monday? No. My video went up Tuesday, even though I did it Monday. Anyways, I showed you guys... Are we having an earthquake again? The camera's shaking. You guys, do you see that? Do you guys see the camera shaking? Is 
This is going to be the second video that there's an earthquake while I'm recording. I don't feel the earthquake, but my camera sure does. It's just really shaking. And so is my lamp. So it's just a small little earthquake. I hope it stays small and nothing else. Okay, so I showed you guys. Um, Um, my paper shredder actually it's not mine, it's my husband's I think we've had this paper shredder for 17 years and we've been together 18 <laughs> with my jelly prints shredded in there you guys see all that? so I'm just going to drop strips just to get some color down ok, now I freak myself out with this earthquake And I think I'm going to leave this alone because it looks like it might be a house. So I'm just going to pull out strips and lay them down. Maybe I'll start the, la the little house then. Let's see, a little house. I don't know, yeah, the roof should be overhanging a little bit, right? If this house gets completed, it'll be my first house. Even though I've seen on YouTube everybody, and most artists on YouTube have already created a little house and their flowers. I have not done that yet. Hi Josie, I just finish wa finished watching your video and you were so excited because I had posted my video and you are excited to watch it. I think that that's sweet. I love you Josie. Um, I'm going to kind of leave um, space. And this is not going to get finished today. I can tell you that much because all the glue that I use, Lori Haley Richardson or Lori Richardson Haley. Josie and I can never ever say your name right. We get the Lori right and then we try to throw the Haley in and then the Richardson, which I'm pretty sure it's... Lori Richardson Haley. Oh, just want to say hi. And your mail is going out too. That one's going to take a little bit more time, even though it's taken quite a while already. I think I've had it ready for you. Oh, for about two months. But that's okay. I know that you accept that you'll get it when you most you'll most likely need it. Anyways, let's see. Oh, in high state of disorder. <laughs> Love your YouTube name. Really do. And hello, Victor. I'm just thinking of names. Mm. Oh, Rita. Let me go see something. Excuse me. I don't know why I'm burping. I had my dinner around 3.30 this afternoon, so I shouldn't even be burping. I'm trying to go to my, um, my comments just to say hello. Well, hello to e e all my subbies. Thank you for all the support you guys give me. 
Um, let's see. Just wanted to update you guys and let you know that because money is so tight for me, I started looking into becoming a YouTube partner. And I put in an application for... What, are they, what is the name of that place? Oh boy. Some, some YouTube partner that'll pay you for... I'm not too sure right now if it's per view or per like. Uh, I think we get like us one cent. And, or even less. I think it's like a percentage. I don't think it'll be one cent. Because one penny can can add up pretty quickly. So I doubt that it's one penny. But uh, what I do know for a fact is that I have like 21,000 views and so far that accumulated only um, $8.50. That's not a lot of money, but it's a, it, it is a help. So, when I remember the name of the YouTube partner that I partnered up with, just to try to make some spare money to support our, um, my swaps, because I love doing swaps. I love receiving your guys' little pieces of paper, anything you guys send me. It's so stinking exciting. Okay, you guys know me. I'm going to throw some more glue. Yeah. So just to support that, I mean, it would be wonderful. And I wouldn't forget you guys if I ever made a million dollars. And I wouldn't forget a lot of foundations that I would love to support. But anyways, just wanted to let you guys know that I have joined a YouTube partner and so far, I am at eight dollars for twenty-one thousand views that I have. Anyways, um, they pay for every. They'll send me a check for every fifty dollars that I make. So I've been making videos for seven months now, maybe eight. So for seven months, I've accumulated eight dollars. So it's going to take some time. But what I'm asking for you, from you guys is a favor. I, I notice that I get a lot of views, but not everybody push will push the like button. Can you guys please push the like button for me? It'll help me out. And it'll put some cash in my pocket to be able to continue doing swaps and you never know maybe some extra money to um, you know what I would love to do I would really 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 love to do let's put this here see the house is starting to be built little by little this one shouldn't go here I would love, love, love. <laughs> you have no idea how much I would love. Oh well, we're going to leave it there. To be able to fly, either fly in to visit one of you guys, or have one of you guys fly in to visit me. Or some of you guys, you never know. What if I made a lot of money and was able to fly in a few of you guys? to maybe hmm thinking maybe a campsite and do arts and crafts for like a week that would be wonderful that would make me so happy for I am a very lonely crafter here in LA I haven't found I haven't found a girlfriend or a guy friend oh, to art with me or even for moral support you know a physical person so I, I'm not the I'm not a phone person 
I'm more like the hangout person to person. Anyways, I'm liking the way this is coming out. This is going to be the front. Look, this could even be grass. Okay, let's just put it down. What was I saying? Hmm. Don't know what I was saying. I have no clue. You guys know what I was saying, but I, I don't know what I was saying. Anyways, I want to say hello to Chantel. I don't know your last name and on your YouTube it's Chantel G. We've been exchanging little messages here and there. Oh and thank you for your text Lori Richardson. I haven't been able to reply to you. Um, when you texted me I was in the middle, well I was in my driveway You might call me crazy, but I don't. <laughs> I was in my driveway putting my dogs in seatbelts in the back seat of my car, which something's wrong with my car. It's overheating, and I can barely get two miles, which Thankfully, that's how far my kids' school is, two miles away from my home. I get two miles and the car overheats. I get, And then I have to drive another two miles back home, and the car's really overheating. Oh, wow. Well. Things will pan out eventually. I have hope. Anyways, when you texted me, Lori... I am, the dogs love to go pick up the kids, both of the dogs, big one, which is Miko, and the small one, which is Binini, and her nickname is Beans, she's tiny, so I call her Beans, <laughs> while I talk about them, I, and even though they're right behind me, I, I giggle because I'm so in love with my little family and my dogs. Anyways, ever since the accident, um, the car accident that I was, our family was in, um, at a, you know, everything happens for a reason. I was at a thrift store, which is about less than half a block from my thrift store, which is a good thing and a bad thing because I'm here trying to make money at my thrift store. And all I could do while I'm at my thrift store is think, oh my goodness, I wonder what they have at the other thrift store. Because I've found, the lady's pretty decent, decently priced. I'm not going to stick that there. I'm going to stick it here. Look at what I found. Believe it or not, the lady lets me put a layaway at her thrift store, which is wonderful. Even without money, she lets me put things on hold. She's held things for me oh, for about three weeks. Today I was able to pull out some shoes that I picked up for my son. I put them on layaway even though they were five dollars. Not, not for the heck of putting them on layaways because I didn't have the five dollars. But I was able to make five dollars and I ran over and I got the shoes out anyways I found golden medium paints uh, she gave me these for a quarter and they, they look um, like they were in somebody's art supply for a while but they're still good I've used them uh, Liquitex acrylic artist colors for a quarter. This one here also, I think all in all, 
from her store. I've got in like 10 of them, little by little. Once in a while, I'll pop my head in and I'll tell her, hey, did you do you have any paints today? And she'll say yes or she'll say no. I like the way this looks right here. I would wish she would just... Maybe if I have a conversation with her, she will. Um, just put them up. Well, then again, she's a businesswoman and she can't be holding items if if she can sell them right away instead of holding them for me. Even though she holds things for me, but if I don't physically ask her to hold it, then she won't just say, Oh, this, here's some paint. I should put this away for secret. Maybe if I had a talk with her, she would. I don't know. Anyways. Um... Today, I went down there, like I said, to get my son's shoes. They're really nice shoes. And for five bucks, and I think they run retail price, I think 300 They're really nice shoes. I don't have them near me, otherwise I would share, show you guys them. Maybe in the next video if I remember. Anyways. What was my point? Oh. So she has a little bit more art supplies um, and what else did she have um, some jars to put cookies away that go in the kitchen they're a little rusty and beat up but they have some kind of character and I need them and she gave them to me for a dollar and I think that they're going to end up being my favorite just because they're a little beat up <laughs> so anyways that's on layaway what else it's probably going to be a three part video now um, I have a playlist so everything's in a playlist on different playlists this one will be mixed media jumping in and out I think it's called in and out mixed media or jump in and out journaling something like that what else did I get so I've got three jars I got a flower pot for 50 cents which is I think they call it milk glass and it has a little bubbles it's vintage I'm gonna keep that here in my my art room to put maybe my brushes in. What else? Ooh, I got myself. Even though I need four, and there was four, I know I know that I shouldn't, so I don't. Um, tennis rackets. I've always always wanted to play tennis with my girls. Oh, that's a pretty one. I hope I find more of this one. And I've been telling them for years, Mom loves tennis. I love tennis. Like, I love tennis. But we've never had the extra money for tennis rackets. And she had some really nice tennis rackets. And she sold me two, each for $5. Probably worth more than that. But the memories that I'm going to make with my girls are going to be worth more than $5 and worth more than probably the original price of the tennis rackets. Now I just got to get a hold of some tennis balls. <laughs> Anyways, five bucks, so I got two. That's $10. All I know is that I owe her 24 bucks. Hopefully I can make $24 soon and be able to pull out my little thrift store layaway. I have no shame in shopping at a thrift store. I wish I didn't have to put the stuff on layaway, but it is what it is. Anyways, I was saying hello to Rita Marie also. And Mona Ray. Hi Mona Ray. 
Angie's Lupus Life. Hello. I was watching your live show today. Um, what happened though? Ooh. Oh, I had to go. I had to close up the shop. Like I said, I had to run down to that thrift store because I can't stop thinking of... Oh my god, I wonder what she has today. <sighs> oh, you know what she has that I really need? Curtains. She has them for a buck. They're really nice. I think they were probably brought down from a hotel room. She has over a hundred pieces and she's selling them for a buck each. In my living room, I need curtains. I have curtains right now, but they're they're nasty. So hopefully I can get some curtains. What else? Mm. Don't remember what else I have at this moment. Oh, some salt shakers. Some salt shakers, uh, what are they called? Blue milk glass vintage salt shakers. Those are in very good shape, and I can't wait to get those home. But I'm really excited for the tennis rackets. I need two more though. She has the other two. She has about eight of them. But little by little, little by little. Oh. Oh, let's see. Arts. Art zoology. Art zoology. Hope I'm saying that right. Thank you for your sweet comments. I love your videos too. Art Z O L O G Y. She has a YouTube channel and uh, her presentation at the beginning of her videos. She has paintings. I'm so in love with her paintings. She has these, I think, two little girls and one lady painting. I hope I'm right. One little girl I think is carrying a bunny or a teddy bear. It's so super cute. Anyway, she has a YouTube channel. Uh, she did some, she was inspired and she did some tissue paper prints. They came out super. And made by Rihanna, I did say hello to you. <laughs> State of Disorder, 1977. She has a YouTube also. And hello, Farah. I still have your painting. It has been packed up and ready to go for, what, three months now? I'm sorry about that. But it's, it's still yours. I created it for you. Just haven't been able to mail it out. And Farah, Jackie still hasn't gotten... Um, Uh, the little hamster. We're still up in the air with that. Plus she's in high school now and she really doesn't have time. Even though she finished, she built the cage all by hand with the scraps of wood that daddy has in the backyard. That's finished. It's complete. It even has like a little playground for the hamster. But um, she realizes that she really doesn't have time because she has so many after-school activities. Even though she doesn't need tutoring, she's just that kind of kid that will take extra tutoring just to take extra tutoring to be prepared. And my 17-year-old, she was hired in the school office. So she works there twice a week.
which is exciting.